Hey guys, I just want to do a quick video to talk about farming versus attacking. Um, so what we're talking about here is, let's just go back to our normal screen. What we're talking about is a lot of players will have a alternate account in the same kingdom. And when they do that, they're using them for um, resources. And what I've seen sometimes happen is that people don't know whether or not they should attack them or if they should transfer the resources. Um, obviously attacking your alternate account can result in a quick transfer, easy peasy. Move all your soldiers out, send you know the biggest group you can, take as much as you can over and done with. Um, the other way is for the alternate account to transfer and that's by a truckload, it's more cumbersome. And what happens is, is that you have to pay a tax on it. And we'll go over here. This is one of my alts. So the market right here is where you determine how much you can transfer and what the transport fee is or the tax. So in this particular one, it's 25%. So if I were to send anything to another player, be it someone I don't know or like my main account, it's going to cost me 25% of whatever I sent. Okay. Um, but the question keeps coming down to is, should you be transferring or should you be um, attacking? Because I've seen players do that and I don't quite understand that. Um, there's a point where, yeah, there will be a point where it'll be the same difference. But like for this particular all, it's 25%. It's a better deal for me to do the transports. And you might ask yourself, well, wait a second, if I tag, don't I take everything? And the answer is no. There is built into this game what I call an attack tax, and it is 30%, and I'm going to show you that. So again, this is my own player, but we're going to go attack somebody else, and we're going to see the results after it happens. So let's go over here. I'm going to show you. So this is the player. He's dead. He's been dead for a while. 263 for food, 270 for wood, iron, 47.4 and gold 6330. Okay, so I'm going to go over here to a sheet that I made and this is just an Excel spreadsheet that shows you the amounts and then this is going to reflect we're basically going to do a formula to show what happens when you take the 30% off. So let me go ahead and get these people over here and get that attack going. So and I'm going to take that off to speed things up. And it really doesn't matter if I have heroes because it is going to uh, take some time. Okay, so let's go back over here just to do a little uh, while we're waiting for that to cook. Yeah, so this 70% is going to be um, what happens after the tax. So let's go ahead. There's the number right here. You can see this is what I'm expecting to see. So 184 K should be what I get for food, wood, 189, about 33 for iron, and 4,431 for gold. Um, while we're just waiting on that, I just wanted to explain one other thing to you. The uh, proportions of what is to what. Food and wood are the same value, if you will. Uh, when you go between wood and iron, it's a 5 to 1 ratio. Um, so having said that, what, what I'm trying to say is this iron basically takes up, if you times it by five, that's how much it's actually, quote, worth in wood or food, right? And then gold is going to be 20, a multiple of 20 from food or wood to gold. So it's kind of interesting to see that. You'll see that in the mystery shop with the one star, two star, and three star. The one stars are still a good deal. And if you apply that multiplier, so like let's just say that um, it's 63.30. Let's just pretend that's how much the cost was. And um, let's do this formula real quick. Ugh, I'm not good at this, sorry. <laughs> Equals this times that. Boom, let me fix this. Um, 
If you saw a thing that said, hey, you can buy 6330 gold and it's a one star deal and it said, here's how much food you're going to get. And it would be like, let's just say 135. That would probably be a one star because that's how much it's equivalent. Ugh, sorry. I messed it up. Anyway, the point is it was 126. So that kind of gives you an idea of what is equitable and what's not. Okay, let's see if these jokers have made it over to that farm yet. Well, it's not a farm, but okay, they're done. I don't have any reason to wait around, so I'm going to recall it just to get it in here. 184, 189.33.2, 44.31. I think I got that one exactly. So again, 184, well, let me blow it up. 184, 189.33.2, 44.31. Let's go back over to our sheet. Boom. Got it exact. Or if I didn't, I got damn close. Because they don't show you things like 100, as in 184, 100. So, what that again proves is there is a 30% attack tax. I'm sure the developers do this because everything where you're trying to get resources some other way other than gathering is quicker, and they want you to have to pay a price for it. So, uh, again, if you have an alt and your alt's market tax rate is below 30%, there's really no point unless you just really need to get, um, you know, everything transferred over immediately. There's really no point in doing the attack method. Okay, well, I hope this was informative. Uh, I hope this explained it all. I'm sorry that I'm not a very good YouTuber, but uh, all right, kids. You have a good game day. Bye-bye.